Hello, my name is Per Jörling and I work at uh, Cross Control as an application engineer. And uh, today I want to introduce you to the IP video capabilities that we have on our CC pilot displays. Uh, for this demo, I have a CC pilot VS display. This display has a 12 inch widescreen uh, with PCAP touchscreen. It also has a quad core ARM CPU and a GPU supporting hardware accelerated graphics. And uh, for the te this test, we also have this uh, uh, IP camera from uh, Orlaco. It's an EMOS IP, IP camera connected to the Ethernet interface of our display. Uh, for this test, I will only use one camera, but it's possible to connect several cameras and uh, display them on the VS screen. I'm now starting up a demo application that will help demonstrate the video capabilities of the VS display. And I have to tap on the screen. Now the, the video stream is going and it's displayed in, in the normal mode. When I move my hand like this, you can see that the latency is very moderate. We have measured it and it's about 100 milliseconds. Now let me play a little bit with the image. Uh, I'm not choosing to pixelate the image. Uh, this illustrates how easy it's to work with the, the video stream. And it's <clears throat> displayed, you can see it's, the changes is displayed without delay. You can change the granularity here, almost none. And this uh, manipulation consumes very little processing power. Uh, this is just a demo, but in a real application, you could, for example, use the pixel data for object recognition and have the object highlighted in a different color or you can use the pixel data to decipher information like reading a sign and present it in clear text uh, on the screen okay let me show you another example i choose to choose the option blur and as you can see here the the screen is on the left side is getting more and more blurred and this could be useful uh, when you have several streams shown on the screen but it is only one stream that is relevant at a certain point in time then blurring the other streams makes it easier for the operator to focus on the stream that is important okay last example I will show you some dynamics I'm not I will show shows the ripple and uh, as you can see it's I don't see a real use case for this but uh, again it illustrates how smooth the video stream comes through you can change the amplitude and, and the frequency of the ripple and it's possible to make that on the on the whole screen so okay that uh, concludes my short demo thanks for watching and uh, go to crosscontrol.com for more information about our solutions for IP video